picture an inmate who's had a head injury that caused them to forget everything how long do you think it will take him to realize that he's in prison he doesn't remember being outside so to him it feels like he's always been in that prison but he doesn't know that it's a prison because no one told him how long do you think it will take him to realize that uh, I'm in a prison something is wrong here it will take time first we need to understand what a prison is what is a prison what does it mean to be a prisoner what does it mean to be free Even when other inmates tell him that he's actually a prisoner, he will not really understand what they really mean. Because he's never experienced freedom. So to him, that is how life should be. There must be people who are telling him when to wake up, when to eat, when to sleep. When to work. That will be okay with him because he's never experienced freedom. So to him, that is life. Because he cannot compare his life with the lives of people who are actually free. Because he's never seen anyone who's actually free because i mean he has but he doesn't remember so it would be like he's never seen anyone who's actually free so he doesn't know what freedom is if other inmates tell him that hey man this is this is a prison We're not here to have fun. We're actually being punished. He'll be like, what? Are you crazy? These people have given us a place to sleep. They're giving us food. They give us entertainment. They allow us to socialize. How can you say that this is a prison? It will take time for him to actually realize that he's in prison. And that's if he's conscious. I mean, some people are just not conscious. If we did an experiment and put some people in this kind of situations, they'll not even realize that they're in the prison. Like, because they, they don't think. They don't think outside the box. So they believe... Um, a reality with which they are presented you know like they never ask questions why is this happening why did that happen what does this mean what does that mean if i was not in a prison wouldn't i be allowed to do this wouldn't i be allowed to say this if I was not in a prison, will I be suffering the way that I'm suffering right now? People don't ask questions. One of the biggest mistakes that you can make as a conscious being is actually believing that other people are conscious like they're not 
there ain't that many people who are actually conscious. There ain't that many people who are asking the right questions. Many people are just living their lives as if everything is fine. It doesn't matter to them that they really do live in a world that they don't understand. When we like reach a technological breakthrough, like a new technological breakthrough, they don't ask questions. How did these people reach this breakthrough? How was technology discovered in the first place? Who gave us technology? Like they don't ask questions. They just do what they're told. So if you ask questions, they're going to think that you're weird. They're going to think that it is weird to ask questions. They're going to think that you are depressed for asking questions because they've never asked questions, you see? So it wouldn't be easy for an average person to realize that they are in a prison and it will take a person who is conscious time to actually realize that they're in prison because they will first need to understand what a prison is they will first need to understand what a prison is what freedom is, what life is, what it means to be a human. So they'll think you're crazy if you tell them that, no, actually, uh, the place that you are in is not good. Uh, hey, you are being punished. Like, ah, oh, you know, something's wrong with you. I mean, you're depressed. I mean, think about it. There are a lot of good things that are happening here. You're focusing on the bad things. So you're focusing on the fights that are happening here. You know, you're focusing on the abuse. You know, what about the good things? What about the food? What about the entertainment? Like, they, they can't really understand what you're telling them when you say it's a prison. Like, they are just not conscious enough. You understand that there's some people who are just not conscious enough. I'm telling you all this so that in your life you never allow anyone less conscious than you to make you feel like there is something wrong with you because you are more conscious than a lot of people. So of course they're going to make you feel like there's something wrong with you because they don't see what you see. They don't understand what you understand. They don't see what you see. They do not understand what you understand. So they're going to think, huh, this person is crazy. Now, picture a prison where... They wipe off everyone's memories. As soon as you get convicted, they wipe off your memories. So as soon as they put you in your cell, like your memories are wiped off. So you don't know anything, actually. Everyone doesn't know anything. How do you think these kind of prisoners will actually realize that they are prisoners? Like how? How? No one is allowed to tell them that they're prisoners. The guards are not allowed to tell them that they're prisoners. In fact, the guards are allowed to tell, to, to, to lie to them about where they are, about what is going on. But they're not allowed to tell them that they're prisoners. Do you think they'll ever figure out that they're in a prison? Most people would never figure out that they're in a prison. It will be few people who will be like, ah, now something's wrong, man. something's wrong, you know. 
I do not know if there is a place that's better than this, but something is actually wrong. Something is really wrong here. Some people really can think, all right? Some people really can't think. I want you to understand that you've believed all your life that other people think like you. They don't. There are very few people in the world who can think. That's what I've realized. And that scared me. Because I've debated with a lot of people in my life. If there's something that I love to do is debate with other people. Like I love debating with other people. That's when I truly feel alive. I love talking about really deep uh, topics. I've realized that a lot of people are just not conscious. A lot of people are not deep thinkers. I will not realize that they're in a prison. Even if someone told them that, hey, you are actually in a prison here. 